A brand new research study out of Epic Research just says that 20% of individuals who take Ozempic or Manjaro end up gaining their weight back after they stop. I'm Dr. Hassan, board certified trauma anesthesiologist. You've heard me talk about the benefits of these GLP-1 agonists several times. Not only do the GLP-1 agonists help with weight loss and diabetes, they actually also are being implicated in having benefits in regards to depression, anxiety, Alzheimer's, liver disease, bowel disease, anything you can think of, these medications probably have an impact on them. Why is that? I have my own theories I'll cover at the end, but let's get to the topic of conversation. Now the new research study coming from Epic talks about the weight gain that happens after you stop Ozempic in the six months following. These individuals were followed for a year after stopping the GLP-1 agonist, which is crazy to me because these medications have really only become popular about nine months ago. But nevertheless, it is pretty exciting that they are doing long-term research studies on these medications because they are potentially groundbreaking. Now the researchers found that 20% of individuals gained back the weight they lost on average about 11 pounds after they stopped the Ozempic or Manjaro. Why is this alarming? It's because 20% of the individuals who were on these medications did not change their diet. 50% of individuals are able to maintain their weight after stopping the medication. And about 20 to 25% actually saw a decrease in weight even after stopping. Now the reason why this is important is because in the media today it's currently being spun in a negative light. They are saying that you will gain back the weight or the headlines always read that you will gain back the weight. What they fail to mention is that about 80% of people either kept the same weight or lost even more weight afterwards. This is very important to me is because when I talk to patients or I talk to individuals who are on these medications, it's very important to not use these medications strictly for maintenance. These medications are a means to an end and what's the end? It's retraining your body and your mind to learn to eat effectively and not gain weight. When you're on these medications, it cancels out the food noise in your head. That food noise is what's propelling you to eat that extra bag of Cheetos or eat that fried chicken. And when you're on these medications, that food noise is gone. So you're not wanting to eat any of that. You're not wanting to drink alcohol. You're not wanting to smoke cigarettes or gamble. What you need to do is in this three month window that you have, sometimes six months, depending on your practitioner, is retrain your body. It's basically a reset. So during that time, you want to do your best to eat healthy and get attracted to eating healthy foods. If you can eat healthy foods during that three month, six month timeline, then the following subsequent six months, nine months, one year, you can continue that diet to the end. Now the hardest part about weight loss doesn't have to do with actually eating healthy or working out. It's canceling out the food noise. Have you heard of something called muscle memory? Muscle memory is basically like if you work out for you know 20 years of your life and then you stop working out for another five years, your muscles are still going to remember how to work out. The same same thing goes with trade jobs. If you're a doctor or a surgeon, if you're doing a procedure for 10 years in a row and then you take five years off, you can gain back that muscle memory very quickly. The same type of muscle memory is in your brain. If you're used to having comfort foods like ice cream and pizza, then when you're off the medications and that food noise comes back, you're gonna revert back into those habits. It's very important, it's very imperative that when you're on these medications, you use them as a tool. You don't use them as chronic medications because the goal in your life should be to get off as many chronic medications as possible. If you can lose weight, maintain the weight loss, decrease your chance of diabetes, decrease your chance of hypertension, decrease your chance of strokes and a myriad of other medical conditions, then you can improve not only the quality of your life, but decrease the chances that you need heavy duty medications for the rest of your life. I can't express to you how many times I see patients come in with a laundry list of medications, just 20, 30 medications that take every single day. That is nearly impossible and basically you're treating all the symptoms, you're not really treating the root causes. These medications, while they are young and they haven't been tested for long-term side effects, they're fantastic in giving you the second opportunity that you have to reset your life. Almost like It's almost like an addict having a chance to reset, going back in time and avoiding the mistakes that they had to make them come to the place where they're at now. Now, obviously these medications knew that long-term side effects have not been decided yet, but before you see the headlines and think that these medications are terrible, they don't work, they're just gonna gain the weight back, you're not using them the way they're intended to be used. Now, obviously the pharmaceutical companies would love for you to take these medications for the rest of your life because that's dollar bills and dollar bills always speak the loudest. But what you should do if you're watching my video and please share with anybody else who's on the medication, you wanna learn how to eat healthy while you're on them. It's gonna be hard, but nothing good is easy. So do your best. Do your absolute best to try to readjust your diet plan to be more effective in the long term. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, like, share, do all those things. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.